white collar crimes today's subject is gender based deviance offenses against scheduled caste and scheduled tribe features of the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe prevention at of atrocities act 1989 and what is atrocity now we are going to talk about deviance my name is umesh rao today subject is scs and sts offenses against scs and sts now first we will study what is deviance deviance means behavior it is inconsistent with norms values and ethics deviance means stay away from the accepted path deviance may be positive deviance or negative deviance deviance of today may be normal tomorrow for example yesterday smoking by ladies is deviance today it is normal then what is official deviance under circumstances the administration of law the authorities have given the some discretionary powers these authorities when they are exceeding these discretionary powers it is called deviance the official deviance is called white collar crimes and it includes all forms of dishonest gains in cash or kind by officers now offenses against scs and sts the people belonging to the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe were humiliated and insulted in our society several kinds of atrocities were done against them in cities and metropolitan cities normally no discrepancies against schedule caste and in schedule tribes are noticed but in rural areas atrocities are still going on now question is how they became scs and sts there is an interesting story once upon a time they were like you and me olden days there was a battle between the two neighboring kings in a battle you normally one will win and one will lose the soldiers and civilians of the losing state are taken as prisoners and they were subjected to inhuman treatment they were treated like bonded laborer they have no rights no education no food also during the passage of times of times these grew they became dalits or sts sts how they became sts whenever there is a war soldiers and civilians they ran away from the kingdom the citizens and soldiers they ran away from the cities and they went to the forest in order to save life and their family so gradually they became tribal people so that is the reason the people of sts are sts are in large number so because of this humiliation they are converted to islam or christianity or buddhism so parliament enacted scs and sts protection of atrocities act 1989 what are the various factors for the atrocities it may be land disputes land alienation bonded labor indebtedness non payment of minimum wages caste prejudice untouchability or refusal to perform traditional work like jais like digging burial pits cremation and removing dead bodies 
Now, what is the main features of the SCs and STs Prevention Act 1989? The Government of India enacted this Act in 1989 to prevent the atrocities against SCs and STs. This Act came into force with effect from 30 January 1990. The Act provides punishment for offences of atrocities committed against SCs and STs. It extends the whole of India. This act is implemented by the state government. Now, what are all the offences under this act? SCs and STs forced to eat or drink uneatable substances. They causing injury or insult by any waste matter being dumped in the premises of SCs and STs. Paraded naked or with the painted face or body of SCs and STs. Depriving the cultivation of their land. Depriving his rights over the land and premises of water. Forced to do beggary and forced to do bonded labor. Framing false legal cases. Insulting in public. Sexually assaulting SC ST women. Depriving to have clean drinking water. Depriving is the right of passage to the public place. Forced to leave his house or village and falsely implicating in a criminal case which result in the imprisonment and burning the place of dwelling or worship. The preamble of the, our constitution gave some privileges and what are all the guaranteed rights guaranteed for SCs as per the constitution. Article 14 of the constitution says equal treatment to persons who are equally situated and article 16 provides that reservation system to the SC, ST, backward class and women. The reservation system has been upheld by the Supreme Court in several cases. Article 17 prohibits untouchability. There are certain special provisions. What is that? Article 330 provides reservation of seats of for SCs and STs in the house of the people. Article 332 provides for reservation of seats for SCs and STs in the legislative assemblies of the states. Article 334 provides reservation of seats and special representation to SCs after 70 years. Article 334 provides claims to the scheduled cost and scheduled tribes to services and posts. So, Article 338 contains the provisions relating to the establishment of National Commission for Scheduled Cost. Article 339 provides <coughs> control of the union over the administration of SC areas and the welfare of the scheduled tribes. Article 341 narrates the list of the scheduled costs and Article 342 narrates the list of the scheduled tribes. Now, what is atrocity? Atrocity is commonly referred as crimes against SCs and STs in India. It refers to crimes and against crimes against SCs and STs. It denotes quality of being shockingly cruel and inhuman treatment. Crime is related, it is punishable by law. It is any offence under the Indian Penal Code committed against SC by non-SC person or against ST by non-ST person. Cost consideration as a motive is not necessary. It signifies the crimes which have ingredients of infliction of suffering in one form or other should be included for reporting. There are 22 offences relating to the various patterns of behaviour relating to the criminal 
offenses. Section 31 and 32 of the SCI Act mentions <coughs> offense is punishable. There are some groups of social disabilities. Social disability means SCs and STs are not allowed to mingle socially. Denial of water from any well, denial of access to certain places and denial of going in a passage. Another Personal disabilities, personal atrocities, forcefully drinking or eating inedible substance and sexual exploitation of SCs and STs. Third one, atrocities affecting the properties, land, residential premises and existing property. It is snatching away from them. And malicious prosecution, filing a false case and economically exploitation making them bonded laborers so all these are all the crimes so in order to put an end to these atrocities the government established special courts these special courts are established to try the offenses against SCSS, STs. the purpose is the speedy trial what is special court court of session to be the special court to try the offenses under this act in each district so judge in a special court be should be sensitive with right attitude and he has to solve the problems of SCs and SCs. but what is the demerits most of the states declared a court as a special court the hitch is that they are designed that there are designated courts as opposed to exclusively special courts they ha have to hear many other cases too consequently anytime 80% of the cases are pending in the level <coughs>